Now that you know how to set up products and how to sell products on your TripWorks account, let's dig into the reporting side of things. From your dashboard, select Reports at the top of the page. On the left side, select Products. The Buy Product Report will give you a breakdown of your sales based on each product that was sold. You do have those drop downs on the top to look at the date in which the activity was scheduled. So if you're looking at all activities that were scheduled in the month of March, you might want to see how many products were sold during that time. Or you can look at date created. Date created is the date that the trip was entered into the system. So you might be curious to see all of the sales that occurred during the month of March. Um, in this example, we're actually looking at the month of April, but you can use the date picker to select any pre-added date period on the left, or you can select your own date period using the date picker in the center. You also have the option to group the sales by year, hour, day, week, month. These are really helpful if you're looking to see which days in particular are selling the most products, which months are most popular, and so on. In this example, let's go ahead and group it by month. Scrolling down, you'll have a nice pie chart at the top to give you a quick overview of which products are performing the best and which are, aren't selling most of. When you scroll down, you'll also have a breakdown. So you'll see all of the products listed here on the left side, the quantity, how many of each product were sold, and then also your net sale. If you expand each product, you'll see the trip where which the product was sold. So we can click into one, select bookings, and then we'll see those products listed here. Scrolling to the top, you also have a great report for breaking down the sales by category. So you can see the categories up here in a bar chart, but you can also scroll to the bottom to get a breakdown of each category, food, clothing, fishing gear, whatever your categories are. And again, you can expand each of those and see all of the trips within. So you also have the quantity column and the total column. This is a great report to see, again, how product sales are performing. And this would be helpful to also see if maybe you want to list more products online during checkout so that your customers have the opportunity to see what you're selling. Hope this helps. Any questions, let us know.